Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Uh, I am Professor Muhammad Gulam Rabbani, former director, come professor, National Institute of Mental Health, and currently I am working as chairperson, Neurodevelopmental Disability Protection Trustee Board, Ministry of Social Welfare, Government of the People's Republic of Bangladesh. I am very much. Uh, uh, indebted uh, to the organizer for inviting me to present my topic, Clubhouse Model Innovation and Diversity in Mental Health Treatment, organized by Pakistan Psychiatric Research Center, Foundation uh, How Fountain House Lahore, and uh, Horizon Peshawar, sponsored by WPA APA and the Clubhouse Europe and Clubhouse uh, uh, International. And uh, I like to uh, start my presentation. Uh, first of all, I like to offer my thanks and gratitude to Professor Abdul, ja Abdul Javed and other colleagues uh, who are very friend of me, of Pakistan Psychiatric Society and other people of Bangladesh. I had been there in Lahore eight, nine years back, and I give you all my salam and uh, good afternoon, uh, good evening. Before starting up my today's main presentation, I would like to refresh my understanding of the mental health concept, mental health as an Indivisible component of general health reflects the equilibrium between individual and the environment and influenced by individual biological, psychological factors, social interactions, social structures, available resources, and the cultural values. Mental health has two dimensions. There's the positive mental health, having capacity to uh, the, uh, uh, perceive and comprehend, adapt, and uh, the surroundings to change uh, them if necessary to pursue self-esteem, optimize, and sense of mastery of coherence and ability to initiate and sustain mutual personal relationship and the ability to cope with the adverse in adversities in life. They are increasing person's capacity to contribute to family motivation and uh, uh, living and working to other social network and living uh, the local community. And uh, regarding the mental health components of the overview, the negative mental health or the negative mental ill health consequences of the person's mental health conditions, disorder, symptoms, and problems. This group of people as the main concern of their overview because the engagement, community-based rehabilitation and clubhouse approaches are targeted and supporting these people for recovery and social inclusion to total communities and mainstream activities in the society. And the clubhouse model, genesis of the clubhouse model. In the late 1940s, seven psychiatric patients at Rockland Psychiatric Center in New York State formed a self-help group that meet in the hospital club room. They formed this group to prepare themselves to be teachers and cope with the challenges of finding shelter, work, and inevitable relapses Soon after leaving the hospital, they begin to 
meet on the steps of the New York City Public Library to recreate the club room experience, believing that it would sustain their recovery, provide a mutual support system, and ultimately lead to changing society's perception of people living in mental illness. They called their support group as WANA. We are not alone. And 1948, with the help of a wealthy, uh, two wealthy volunteers, Elizabeth uh, Scarmholm and the Haiti Richard, and a donation from the National Council of Jewish Women, a building on the West 47th Street in New York City was purchased as clubhouse for WANA because it had a small fountain in the backyard of the WANA named their new building as the fountain house. And through a process of constant experimentation and evaluation, it has evolved a program and an uh, ideological framework which is keeping in religious and cultural recordment in the Lahore Fountain House. And this Lahore Fountain House was established in 1971. Its founder, uh, program, uh, project director was Mr. Uh, Professor Rashid Choudhury. He is the founder director of the uh, Fountain House Lahore. And uh, uh, he was a pioneering uh, authority and the authored a article in 1983 in the Indian Journal of, uh, Journal of Indian Psychiatry Society. And in that uh, article, he showed the uh, transnational uh, in, uh, the condition that it works from one culture to another. That is, it was borrowed from the United States of America, and it landed in Lahore, Pakistan. And this model worked better with the program, uh, innovated at the personal uh, vocational day program, apartment program, and the evaluation and clubhouse accountability, the religious practices, and the part of the therapy, and fountain house, uh, farm Suhar Khana. The reason to action. Up to 10% of the people worldwide are affected by the mental health problems such as depression, substance abuse disorder, dementia, schizophrenia. Mental health conditions are among the top five leading causes of the non-communicable diseases and lead to considerable disability, high economic and social costs. These costs are estimated to be an uh, astonishing US dollar 2.5 trillion for 2010. Yet the vast majority of the people with mental health problems don't receive the treatment, especially in low economic countries. And there is chronic under investment in mental health. People with mental health problems are often victim of the discrimination and human rights abuse. Lack of attention paid to their uh, plight has been described the failure of humanity. Meanwhile, many effective approaches to the treatment and care of the mental health problems exist and there are uh, comprehend, uh, co compelling uh, reason for investing in this mental health care delivery system. And the reasons to action is that they promote human rights and inclusion, reduce human, human impact of mental health problems, and prevent uh, premature death, reduce the economic costs to the society, reduce poverty and social disadvantage, good knowledge of cost-effective treatment into practice. Framework for action. The unmet need 
for care for the mental health problems is a global challenge. In 2013, the World Health Organization agreed to an action plan to provide comprehensive, integrated, responsive mental health and social care services in community-based setting. The, the report uh, and the recommendations are primary for policymakers and those who influence the healthcare system. Its focus is treatment and care. It describes six policy actions guided by four cross-cutting principles. These policy actions are illustrated by a number of innova uh, innovation from around the world. And the framework for action, the policy actions are improve the people with mental health problems and their families, building adverse, building diverse mental health workforce, develop collaborative and multidisciplinary team-based approach to mental health care, use technology to improve the access to mental health care, identify and treat mental health problems early, reduce the premature mortality in people with mental health problems. Mental health is everyone's business. Identify four key recommendations to implement policy actions at scale. These are the promote human rights and anti-discriminatory anti perspective in mental health care, develop a mental health care policy and action plans, commit uh, adequate financial resources to back implementation of the policies and the plans, and invest in and promote evaluation and uh, research to improve the treatment and care. Roadmap for action. Based on the innovation, the following roadmaps for action by the policymakers and other stakeholders for that take the initiative and commit improve mental health care. Uh, re review the current policies, laws, plans, and change them if needed. Inspire others, especially the influential political and community leaders, to drive change by using the positive sto stories of recovery and hope. Invest wisely in cost-effective innovations and that could dramatically improve the mental health. Monitor and evaluate services outcomes, making sure they are service users focused and family and car carers focused. Start change with the whatever resources you have. Do not let resources constrain stall progress. And this promote the reason for investing in mental health, promote human rights and inclusion. People with mental health problems are most likely that others to experience social exclusion, violent victimization and human rights abuse. Access to evidence-based treatment and care would have direct positive impact and would greatly promote human rights and the chances of a recovery and inclusion. It reduce the human impact, mental health problems. There is a health without, there is no health without mental health. Mental health problems lead to extremely distressing symptoms for the affected people, persons, and burden for the family members. In addition, they are closely associated with the physical health problems. There is a high level of coexistence of the non-communicable diseases and mental health problems which uh, compromise treatment and prevention efforts. And uh, this prevent prema uh, premature death. People with severe mental health problems 
die up to 20 years earlier than the people with without mental health problems even in high eco income countries excess mortality is due to suicide and healthy lifestyles such as high smoking rates poor physical health poor uh, physical health care for the people with mental health problems it reduced the economic cost to society in 2010 the global economic cost mental health problems were estimated at us dollar 2.5 trillion and are projected to rise sharply to us dollar us dollar 6 trillion by 2030 around two thirds of these costs are related to lost productivity and income the consequences of untreated health mental health problems reduce poverty and disadvantages poverty social disadvantages and mental health problems are intimately related to each other mental health interventions can help improve social and economic well-being people affected by mental health problems <clears throat> put knowledge of cost effective treatments into the practice the treatment of mental health problems is a cost effective as other health treatments such as anti retroviral treatment of treatment for hiv aids the returns on the investment in mental health are cost uh, considerable every us dollar one spent on the programs such as early intervention for psychosis suicide prevention conduct disorder to a benefit or cost of saving us dollar 10. cross-cutting principles are respect human rights all innovations should conform to the convention of the rights of the persons with disabilities and relevant recognition of the rights uh, rights of the rights instruments draw evidence-based practice mental health innovations needs to be based on sensitive evidence of what works and or best practice taking cultural considerations into account and the type of universal mental health coverage regardless of sex age sex socioeconomic status races ethnicity or the sexual orientation persons with mental health problems should be able to access essential health social services that enable them to achieve recovery and highest attainable uh, standard of the health without a risk impoverishing themselves take life course approach mental health innovations must address the needs through life course for infant to old age intervention should be delivered as early as life course as possible to reduce the long term impact of the of these problems and the and the policy actions uh, and highlighted innovations are empower people with mental health problems and their families prevent discrimination and human rights a chain free uh, initiative of somalia is one of an example and empower people with mental health problems to provide support to another the clubhouse international that works in 33 countries worldwide and build adverse mental health workforce diverse mental health workforce that is building capacity of non-specialist health workers to deliver mental health that is the kimta po project in ghana 
and build the mental health specialist capacity, improving access to psychological therapies in England is one of the example, and the develop collaborative multidisciplinary te uh, team-based approach to mental health care, develop collaborative mental health teams, programs for screening, diagnosis, comprehensive treatment of depression in Chile is one of the example, and the integrated mental health and, and uh, uh, economic empowerment, basic needs uh, model of the mental health development, 11 countries of the Africa and the Asia. And using the technology of improving access to the mental health care, use of technology to reach rural and uh, remote communities. That is the SCARP mobile telepsychiatry in India. Use computer-assisted self-guide psychological therapies in this way, Australia is, uh, these are the examples. Identify and treatment health problems early that parental mental health problems could be solved by perinatal mental health project of the South Africa that brought a very good result and intervene early to treat child and adolescent mental health problems, psychosocial care practices for children in areas of the armed conflict like the Burundi, Sudan, Syria, Sri Lanka, Indonesia, and Nepal. Reduce the premature mortality in people with mental health problems and they provide integrated care for people with both mental and physical health problems, that is the team care, uh, USA and Canada are the examples. Improve access to treatment and care for the people with uh, depression and other mental health problems to prevent suicide, European alliance uh, against the depression and the 10 countries of the Europe and Chile has proven this with this uh, uh, action program. Use of technology to uh, reach the rural and remote communities. Rural and remote communities in all the countries around the world can be, uh, the rural and remote communities in all countries can be severely disadvantaged by limited access to the specialist and the telemedicine, mobile phone and Internet-based technologies can help to bridge this gap, and they enable the mental health specialists based in urban areas to supervise non-specialist workers and provide consultancy with service users. Uh, one such innovation is the telepsychiatry as implemented by the SCARP in India. And the SCARP, use of technology to uh, improve the access to mental health care in SCARP, mobile telepsychiatry in Tamil Nadu, India, is a very big example in, as, a, in, as an innovation. A, base, a bus with a telepsychiatry consultation room and a pharmacy visits a pre-identified uh, sites with the 3G mobile connectivity enables the video conferencing. Local NGOs and trained members of the local community identify and refer people to the teleclinics along with the home-based rehabilitation services by community health workers. Awareness raising films are screened to the public to increase their utilization of the services and reduce the stigma. And this CARB mobile telepsychiatry in Tamil Nadu, India has impact about 1,500 people have been treated and more than half of these, half of those estimated to need 
a treatment in the target population. The capital setup costs were US dollar 25,000. The total cost of the treating a patient is US dollar 12 per, 12 per month. Telepsychiatry being introduced to rural populations of in, in India has extreme potential to uh, greatly affected mental health care uh, as well as the service model for uh, other developing and developed countries that are dealing with limited access to rural populations. And the use of computerized self-guided uh, psychological treatment th and therapies and innovation way of increasing access to psychological treatment is to provide authoritative, uh, treat, uh, automated treatment via the internet accessed via a computer, tablet, or cell phone. Such intervention have low marginalized costs uh, and are accessible in population with the good access to the internet and have been shown to be very effective in a randomized control trial. The rapid expansion of mobile technology and internet access enhances the appeal of the adopt adaptation in low-income countries. And this way Australia aims to increase other access to psychological therapies for the mild and moderate mental health problems in Australia. And this innovation program is delivered as a part of the uh, stepped care model with a specialist uh, retaining clinic responsibility for the service users. Clinicians prescribe the six lesson course to people who have depression, anxiety disorders, and mild and moderate cases are prescribed automated inter, uh, uh, internet delivered the cognitive behavioral therapies, that is ICVT with home work to do offline. This system sends the treating clinicians an email alert about people whose symptoms origin so clinicians can provide one-to-one -one therapies to severe cases and those that do not recover following the ICVT. This way of Australia, this has been implemented in Australia, New Zealand, and the US and the Canada and expatriate communities in Asia. Since the program was launched in 2000, 3,100 clinicians have enrolled to use it registered 7,200 service users and predominantly in Australia, New Zealand, 50 to 60% of services, service users uh, compete all the lessons. On an average, 50% of the complete recovered, 30% improved, and 10% show no change and their symptoms and the 10% worsen. The number of lost work days uh, have uh, halved, that is reduced half percent. The Australia people pay US dollar one to use the program and the cost to government is US dollar 222 per services users. And ICBT is 10 times more effective than face-to-face -face therapy. And to this way, the schools are an internet-based learning system that provides health and well-being. Uh, the courses for the students manage stress, anxiety, and depression. And here I can see, uh, show the 
uh, search for optimized mix of the health policy and services both uh, pyramidal way that the upper end the only the tertiary hospital cannot manage this but if you can provide it into the community mental health services by uh, using this uh, community as the involvement so mental health services through the primary health care services and the informal community care that is the people those who have the low very minimum symptoms can be uh, cared by the self care and the psychological care packages for child in the areas of the armed conflict in burundi uh, syria sudan sri lanka indonesia and nepal and the health care uh, tpo programs delivers multi tiered psychosocial care packages com combining the mental health uh, promotion and prevention and treatment to address the needs of anti risk child and the adolescents and this innovation of the healthcare promotion activate include including peer support groups the community sensitization the psychoeducation to increase the awareness of the mental health needs of the children and increase the community uh, uh, resilience uh, prevention activities targeted subgroup of the child with the psychosocial distance as identifying by a brief cost uh, context sensitive uh, skin uh, screener use uh, schools a structure group uh, intervention addresses symptoms of the distress and the strengthening of the protective factors to protect the children against developing mental health problems could be possible and treatment provided with the children with severe mental health problems in the form of individual counseling and parental support and a referral to a psychiatrist when it is necessary and the psychosocial care packages for children in the areas of armed conflict the impact is that classroom based intervention that is cbi has been shown to be effective in several clinical trials in indonesia 65 nepal and 66 and sri lanka 67 a series of non randomized uh, evaluation studies once the program had been rolled out across all five countries showed that the impact uh, improved cases detection and made effective care available to over 96000 children in five countries and the program uh, continues to run in burundi uh, but a lack of resources has stopped the program in the uh, than the other countries and the services users and the families individuals and the group can act as a force in uh, driving changes public attitudes can be positively influenced through the social contact with the people with the mental health problems and their uh, stories involving services users and the families in the design and daily uh, delivery of local services including the users initiatives that the stigma improves individuals and strengthen the mental health system and the mental health professionals can help the mental health professionals are often champions of the changes in many countries the mental health reforms were initiated by the psychiatrists mental health professionals play a critical role in supporting the policy actions and recommendations if Uh, uh, in, uh, in uh, there is a lot of reforms in this regards and the government's participation and the media 
and international organization can play a tremendous role in building up the policies and actions through their legislation to the community involvement and the betterment of the mental health of the common people of the uh, both developing and underdeveloped countries business and employers and the researchers has a tremendous role in this regards to improve the mental health problem uh, reducing the, the stigma and improving the mental health conditions both in uh, the underdeveloped and the developed countries and i am very thankful to uh, the uh, delivering my uh, speech to uh, this uh, lahore uh, uh, fountain house international conference in psychiatry and my friends and uh, the participants i like to thank wholeheartedly as because i visited the fountain house lahore it is one of the unique example not only in this region of the subcontinent and this asia uh, pacific and the east asia but all over the country this is a club house model and it brought the fruitful result to the common people of pakistan and this is an unique example and uh, i do bow my head to my uh, this uh, 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 this uh, old friends rashid choudhury and his family and my uh, mentor uh, dr abdul javed and uh, the uh, friends like uh, others uh, for example nasir said and uh, uh, this uh, other people who have come from a long way from uk and the usa and other part of the world that is the western europe to join this occasion it was better i could meet them personally but i couldn't because of the uh, covid 19 pandemic so thank you very much and thank you all for uh, listening this long topic thank you thank you